How you doing guys? This is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com and SecretOfTheInternet.com. Talked a lot before on this channel about precious metals, gold and silver, and what role those play in an overall preparedness plan for financial preparations. And uh, there's all different forms that you can get gold and silver in. There's, you know, you can get online shares like gold money, something that represents real gold. I prefer physical. Someone just asked about gold money. I don't know a lot about them. I know certain people that I trust do promote them, but I prefer to have my gold and silver in my hand. And if I had extremely large amounts, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars that I wanted to put into precious metals, I would use something like that, at least partially. But other than that, I prefer to at least know exactly where my um, precious metals are and have physical access to them. Even if that's not in the house, I think it's important to have physical access to your precious metals, if at all possible. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Today is about copper and copper rounds. Like here I have a couple debt and death copper rounds from the Silver Bullet Silver Shield collection. These were Chris, Chris Dwayne's stuff from a while back. And say what you will about him, I do like some of these designs. Now, I had bought the silver designs, a couple of like a bunch of the Freedom Girls, and I think I got Slave Queens and a few others. Didn't actually pay for these. They're part of a promotional thing that the first people to buy, I think it was the Freedom Girls or the Slave Queens, don't remember, got a few of these uh, copper rounds. But they are sold individually, so you can buy copper rounds if you, uh, if you wanted to for some reason. Now, my, this video is about should you. Is it something that's worthwhile for a preparedness situation to invest in copper, copper rounds? Now, in copper itself, it's a physical resource. It definitely is, it's like a, you know, it's a commodity, so you could invest in copper. I don't think, however, that, you know, copper rounds like these are, are the way to go. Simply because copper is only ever really going to be sold for melt value in any sort of disaster or should hit the fan scenario. Even in right now, it's hard to sell any sort of copper numismatics for anything above, you know, melt value. Obviously, if you find someone who also wants the collectible, you could sell it for that reason. But if you're storing it for should hit the fan scenario, you're probably gonna be storing it for melt value. And if that's the case, you don't want to be buying these rounds because they're way, way, way overpriced compared to melt value. Just as a comparison, I have a link in the description to a metals company that you can buy an entire pound of copper for 10 bucks in little nuggets. And that goes down to about six bucks or 650 a pound if you buy like a hundred pounds worth. And even that is fairly inflated compared to how much you could pay if you bought scrap copper and things like that. I know the um, local scrap yard around here, you're lucky to get a few bucks a pound. I think it's like a $1.90 or something like that, two or three bucks maybe a pound depending on the fluctuations. If you bring in like copper pipes and stuff like that. So it's a much better idea to try and get some of that stuff secondhand if you, uh, if you can. If you're really interested in storing copper for any sort of investment purposes, just get a bunch of scrap copper like that on the secondary market. Don't obviously don't buy brand new copper pipes or something, or you're going to be paying above the uh, melt value because it has to be formed in the copper shapes and everything. So if that was an interest, I would get the uh, secondhand stuff like that. And if, if you can't or don't have access to that, at least go get the, the nuggets and stuff from online and you can only pay about seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a pound instead of a couple dollars or more an ounce like you would buying the round. So if you want these for the collectible value, go for it. If you want them for preparedness, definitely go with the um, not the rounds. I don't think it's a good idea for financial preparedness. For collectability, do what you want. I mean, some people collected Beanie Babies and all sorts of other worthless shit. There's nothing wrong with keeping or spending money on something that you think is cool if that's what you want. But if you're doing it purely for shit hit the fan preparations, that's not the way to go. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.